Hello everyone, my report is all about Perk Tutoring or Perk Teaching. Perk Tutoring is a process between two or more students in a group where one of the students act as a tutor for the other groupmate or groupmates. It also can be applied among students of the same age or students belonging to a different age groups. Why we, why we choose uh, per tutoring? Yes, it because it is widely researched practice across age, grade levels, and subject areas. It, it is also the intervention allows students to receive one-to-one -one assistance. It, it is also students have increased opportunities to respond in smaller, in, in smaller groups. It promotes academic and social development for both the tutor and the tutee. It is also students engage and time on task increases. Her tutoring increases self-confidence and self-efficacy. There are lots of benefits of a per tutoring first. It allows the higher rates of student response and feedback which results in better academic achievement. It creates more opportunities for students to practice specific skills, which leads to better retention. And the student tutor gains a deeper understanding of a topic by teaching it to another student. And also students involved in peer tutoring have shown more positive attitude toward learning and develop self-confidence and the last is it helps students build relationships and practice appropriate social interaction here we go in the types of peer tutoring there are five types of peer tutoring first the instructional tutoring instructional tutoring uh, is older students help younger ones on a one-to-one -one or one to a group basis they chose the way the lessons are presented this is practice when there are big there is a big difference between tutor and the tutee next one the same age tutoring this is arrangement works well with children who can act as interactive pairs for example uh, more able ones to assist the least able they can read to each other and to discuss the third one is the monitorial tutoring uh, it is the class may be divided into groups and monitors are assigned to lead each group that's what we call the monitorial tutoring and number four is structural tutoring here a definite procedure is followed. Highly structured tutoring is administered by trained tutors. And the last one is the number five, semi-structured tutoring. This is a combination of unstructured and structured where the tutor guides his or her tutee through a carefully planned learning guide but is free to modify it according to the duties on interests and skills um, the there are nine instructional characteristics of a per tutoring first the duties receive individualized instruction second the duties receive more instruction Third one is a rapport between tutor and tutee may be established. Fourth, the teacher is free at the same time to do other classroom course while the members are handled by tutors. Fifth, this kind of arrangement reduces large class into smaller working groups, right? And the sixth, discipline problems are lessened because there are more assistants looking after small groups the seven is the spirit of cooperation camaraderie and reciprocity are highlighted and the eighth the tutor stands 
to gain more sense teaching is an excellent learning situation. And the last one is that tutors can likewise improve their own self. There are uh, nine guidelines for effective use for per tutoring. First, care in selecting tutors to assist, the rest must be strictly exercised. Second, the teachers must go around and observe how the members of the groups are interacting with one another. Third, top student who possess leadership qualities. Fourth, explain well the benefits of this form of arrangement to avoid resentment since both tutor and tutees are classmates. Fifth, the tutor must confer with teacher regarding the nature and extent of assistance they are expected to provide. Sixth, prepare both tutor and tutees regarding the role which will play in a teaching learning situation to avoid confusion. Seven, make sure the tutor exhibit teaching competence as the depth and breadth of the subject. Eight, the tutor must employ a variety of techniques in reaching the tutees since they are more alike in, in taste, skills, and habits. And the last one is instant evaluation by way of performance and oral responses serves as feedback that can indicate progress in tutorial situation. And my last topic is, is all about the partner learning. Partner learning is a learning with a partner. With, with a partner. It, it is obvious. Uh, a student chooses partner from his or her classmates and they recall a study buddy. Yeah. Students become responsible for each other's learning. Each each student is accountable for his or her own learning. And that's all my report and thank you. God bless us all.